Hello there, it's Anasiga from Scrapalicious.com. I have a set of uh, two cards to share with you today using these stunning papers from Minte Papers called Dear Diary. And the first sheet you see here is the uh, cut apart sheet, and I have cut loads of images. Just fussy cutting the old fashioned way. And I'm just going through those papers so you can have a a bit closer look at the whole collection and I just adore this collection. Stunning colours and the images are amazing and the colours, oh, love them. Especially the camera ones, I think those are my favourite. Now the first card I'm making is a longer card. It's not my usual size but I do like to try new things. And I knew I wanted to focus on many of these fuzzy cut images and I wanted this one to be all about the books. And I'm just basically fiddling around, seeing what works and what doesn't and figuring out if I like this or that or what. So I ended up deciding on this being a pile of books and then having a few of the light bulbs hanging from the top. And I'm not trying to make an, uh, a realistic scene of any sort. I'm just having fun with all these little images and just trying to create something fun, unusual and whatnot. So I'm just cutting the uh, background papers down to size so that they fit the uh, card base itself and not being too precise just using that ruler to know when I should be stopping and such and like I said just figuring out what works and what doesn't and so on like a true card maker just having fun experimenting and fixing my own mistakes and such And now that I've cut those two pattern papers down to size, I am inking the edges using uh, my Tim Holtz Distress Ink in Vintage Photo. And I just want to make this look like it's old and used, somewhat like the books. And to make sure everything fits together, I am also inking all the edges of my fussy cut images with that same distress ink. Now that everything is inked and looking pretty, I am just sticking those background panels to my card base. And I'm keeping the uh, first one in the darker shade so that the next one is lighter and make sure that the books really do pop off the page really. And then all I have to do is to stack those images on the front and make them look as good as possible really. And since I am stacking quite a few images on the front of this card I want to add a bit dimension as well. So I will be using foam tape for some of the books and just regular adhesive for the other ones. Like I said, no rhyme or reason, I'm just having fun choosing what to use. And I'm using this 3M foam tape for my images. I just love this tape, it's a huge roll which I love, even though I need to buy it, I think. I go through, I think, about two or three of these rolls a year. At least two, I think. So when I've noticed that about, I have one-tenth left, I usually order another one so that I have it ready when I finish the one I have. So like I said, I'm just figuring out 
where to put these and sticking these together. Like I say, some with foam tape, others just with any kind of adhesive. Any glue will work here. I just use my ATG gun because it's handy. And this creates quite a lot of dimension without too much effort, really. And I really like that. I like cards that look great. They look like they've taken a lot of time. And even though this took a bit of time, but it didn't take like ages. But I do enjoy fussy cutting, so maybe that's the reason why I don't think it takes too long. And then I'm just placing the light bulbs at the top. I mean, look at those light bulbs. Oh my gosh, they're so pretty. Just love the colours in them. And I'm keeping this one on foam tape and the other ones I will be gluing down to the card base itself. And even though my card looks really nice like that with books and the lights at the top, I felt like it needed something else too. I mean, it looks pretty as you can see, but it just needs that little something to, I don't know, add the focus on the books somewhat. So while I'm thinking, I just had to go through my images and find something on the inside. Since this is quite a tall card, there's a lot of space to write inside of it. So why not utilize all that space and add some images? Just for fun, eh? And so I decided on these two, this little oven and that open book. It kind of looks like it's flying, really. Kind of reminds me of something Harry Potter-ish, Hogwarts-y kind of stuff. But whichever it is, I like it. So this is quite detailed and I want to make sure that every little piece of this is stacked down so it doesn't come off when you're writing or anything like that. I decided to use my Siron sticker maker just to make my life a little bit easier. And that way I know they will have stickiness in all those little corners and it won't pop off when you write your messages or anything like that. Now, I want it sparkled. So I'm using my new Nouveau Tonic Shimmer Pen. And this is a gold one, Midas Touch, yes. But I will have links to everything I use down below in case I forget what things are called or anything like that. You don't see much of that glitter on in the video, but it is absolutely beautiful. It gives a really nice light touch of gold. It doesn't cover the whole thing like it's, oh my God, it's gold. But it gives a beautiful gold shine. And I absolutely love that. Well, then again, I love every, anything that glitters or shimmers or sparkles. So hmm, that's just the way I am. And now I'm adding that touch that I was talking about that it needed a bit more. So I use these pretty little birds from the uh, Fussy Cut page. And I'm adding them here and there. Because I did feel like it was a bit too, I don't know. Oh, I can't find the word. I guess it looks a bit blur <laughs> if that's any kind of a description to use, but I did prefer it with the bird or birds in the uh, in the end. So I like it really. And birds and books, hey, that's quite a nice touch, right? And I'm just adding a bit of foam tape. To this little bird just to make it pop a wee bit and I just need to figure out where to put him and of course he'll be sitting on 
on top of some of the books, just figuring out to where. It looks really nice there, tucked behind those books. Now I'm just trying to figure out which other ones I want to use. Should I use two birds or one bird or what? And then I found this pretty nest with eggs in it, so I thought why not use that as well. And I ink all these images with the vintage photo distress ink, same as I did with anything else on the card. I'm just tucking this behind the main book. And I decided to add another bird as well. I don't think it's the same kind as the other one, but I don't mind. So that was the first card, and now for the second card. I'm still using that same collection. And I'm using the same pattern paper as well, the same ones that did the long, uh, the longer one. But I'm just using the black side of the uh, one that I used the uh, with the old paper front. And this is a standard size card. It's an A2 size card, and I'm just placing those two panels on my card base. And with the card bases I'm using are Nina Solar White, 110 weight. And I'm adding foam tape to that second panel just to pop it a bit. Since these are quite, I don't know, it's not simple, but I don't know, cleany ish kind of a cards, I really like to use foam tape. It adds so much to the final touch. And here I've selected some fussy cut images from that same paper I showed you in the beginning of the video. And I'm just inking all those sides with my Distress Oxide. No, it's not Oxide ink. It's just vintage photo Distress ink. But of course you could use Oxide inks if you have them. Makes no difference at all. And I'm keeping my flowers as the main background piece. And then I'll be adding that camera and coffee cup and that little candle at the front, really. And again, I'm using quite a lot of foam tape because I do love popping things up on my cards. And I mean, these images are so beautiful that should really stand out absolutely stunning and plus all the papers from Minte papers are really nice quality they're really thick and that means that when you fussy cut these tiny images they are not a flimsy little bit they keep their shape and just absolute dream to work with gorgeous papers and fantastic quality And I'm just placing them here and there, figuring out what to pop up and what needs to be on the same level as the background and such. And like I say, you can't go wrong with these images. They're just so pretty. The hardest thing is actually picking which ones to use because I really want to use them all. but. I can't use them all at once, can I? But they just make the card process absolutely breezy, beautiful. And of course I'll be adding sparkly stuff to this card as well, using the Tonic Midas Touch Glimmer Pen to add a bit of sparkliness to the images as well. And then I also added on this card, as well as the other ones, several Nouveau Tonic Drops as embellishments just to add a bit of pearliness, I guess, to all the cards. I guess I really have a hard time not using 
those new word drops for every single card or layout I make. I mean, these are just absolutely stunning. So fun to use. And that comes to the end of my cards, really. So thanks so much for watching. And I will have several still photos for you to look at in the end and of course I will have links to everything I used in the description box of the video on YouTube. Thanks so much for watching, see you again later, bye!